What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Commander MTG YouTube channel. I'm your host, Jason Calm, and today we're talking about budget card draw in my favorite color, green. A major focus of this channel is providing information on how to play Commander affordably, so although these cards may not be the best you can buy, they certainly can work for you. And with the exception of one of the cards I'm going to talk about, each of these cards are used by myself extensively and are perfect for any player to add to their collection. Without further ado, let's start with number 10 on the list. Garrick's Pack Leader, coming in at a whopping 16 cents, is a 5 mana 4-4 four, four beast with, whenever another creature with power 3 or greater enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. Although 5 mana is a lot of mana to dump into a creature that doesn't directly affect the board, the payoff for this card sticking around can be huge. Since you'll be playing green, ramping into this card will be no problem, and it'll help you smooth out your gameplay into the mid game while providing a decent blocker on board. There is a minor complication of only triggering off creatures with power 3 or greater, but I find when playing green, hitting that threshold is no problem by turn 4. Also, notice how it isn't a cast trigger, but instead an enter the battlefield trigger. This means that if you're able to blink your creature with cards like Conjurer's Closet, or copy the trigger with Strionic Resonator, you can really cash in on the value here. This card slots perfectly into any creature deck and performs extremely well when paired with any Enter the Battlefield shenanigans. Next up, number 9, Colossal Majesty. Coming in at 40 cents, this 3 man enchantment states, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control a creature with power 4 or greater, draw a card. Basically, you'll draw two cards to start your turn as long as you control a creature with power 4 or greater at your upkeep. Since this card isn't major value engine that you can abuse, opponents will often disregard this card in my experience, and that's foolish. Drawing two cards to start your turn while everyone else only draws one puts you in a major card advantage, and while it might not have an immediate impact like some of the other cards on this list, the consistency of draw will be well worth it. This card slots nicely into a deck that has a commander with power 4 or greater already, or a deck that simply utilizes stronger creatures. Next up, number 8, Momentous Fall. Coming in at 54 cents, this 4 mana instant states, as an additional cost to cast a spell, sacrifice a creature. You may draw cards equal to the sacrificed creature's power, then you gain life equal to its toughness. Green has no shortage of large creatures you can target with this spell, and look at a card like God Eternal Ronus, where you could pay 4 mana to sacrifice him to draw 5 cards and gain 5 life. Not only that, he has a death trigger that puts him back into your library third from the top. Or think of even bigger payoffs with cards like Agalta, Primal Hunger. Can you imagine drawing 12 cards for 4 mana in green? Although you need a creature to sacrifice to play this card, and hopefully a creature with decent power and toughness, the payoff can be huge. And being an instant allows you to do this on your opponent's end step before you take your turn, making it extremely flexible and fun to play. This card slots perfectly into a deck that wants to sacrifice creatures already or has a way to recur them, but will also work in any green deck that utilizes creatures with higher power and toughness. I use this in my Salvala deck to refill my hand after dumping huge creatures onto the board and is always met with nervous laughs by my opponents. Next up, number 7, Return of the Wild Speaker. Coming in at $2.09, this is the most expensive card on this list and has become a favorite of mine. This 5 mana instant says choose one, draw cards equal to the greatest power among non-human creatures you control, or non-human creatures you control get plus 3 plus 3 until end of turn. The utility of this card is just amazing, but to stay on the card draw track, this card gets hilarious in decks that have big creatures. Since this card cares about the power of your creatures, you'll typically run this card in a deck that utilizes creatures with power greater than 5, like Galta, or in a deck that pumps creatures like Azuri Blade of Progress. Being an instant gives you the flexibility to capitalize on your draws whenever suits you, and with the added utility of pumping your team, this card is a powerhouse and you should run it whenever possible. Next up, number 6, Shamanic Revelation. Coming in at 52 cents, this 5 mana sorcery lets you draw a card for each creature you control, but also has a ferocious ability where you gain 4 life for each creature you control with power 4 or greater. If you haven't noticed yet, green cares a lot about big creatures and this really hammers that mindset home. This card is a token dex dream like Geared Conclave Exile, where you can have anywhere between 5 to 10 creature tokens on board at a given time and cash in for a huge payout. This card is perfect for a deck that wants to go wide, preferably with creatures power 4 or greater, and will give you enough gas to keep your opponents on their toes and power your way to victory. 
Next up, number five is Elemental Bond. Coming in at 99 cents, this three-man enchantment states, whenever a creature with power three or greater enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. Similar to number 10, Garrick's Pack Leader, this card triggers upon creatures entering the battlefield, but has less of a downside in terms of its mana cost and durability. Getting this enchantment on board on turn three, possibly even two, will be a dream start for any deck. It has the added benefit of not being a creature, making it much more difficult for our opponents to interact with. It also fits well into decks that have heavy creature base or decks that are able to abuse enter the battlefield effects like Yerok the Desecrated. Next is number four, Garrick's Uprising. Coming in at 61 cents is a three man enchantment that states, whenever Garrick's Uprising enters the battlefield, if you control a creature with power four or greater, draw a card. Creatures you control have trample, and whenever a creature with power four or greater enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. That is a lot of text for a three mana uncommon, and let me tell you, this card is a powerhouse. Not only does it provide instant value by drawing you a card when it enters the battlefield, but triggers with each subsequent creature entering the battlefield with power four or greater, and giving them trample, what? This card should go in every deck that uses combat to finish games, that has a commander with power four or greater, or a deck that just wants to win in general. A crazy card from M21 that is going to see a lot of play here. Next up is number three, Lifecrafter's Bestiary. Coming in at a dollar and one cent, this three mana artifact reads, at the beginning of your upkeep, scry one. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you may pay one green mana. If you do, draw a card. This card is amazing in so many ways. You have the static ability that lets you scry one every turn to help smooth out your draws, but you also have a trigger upon cast to draw a card for one green mana. Unlike other cards in this list where creatures need to enter the battlefield, this card has no such stipulation, nor does it care about the creature's power, making it much harder to interact with and easier to abuse. This card slots into most decks that run green for the scry ability alone, but the constant threat of drawing a card every time you play even the tiniest creature is icing on the cake, and why I use it all the time. Next up is our number two, Beast Whisperer. Coming in at $1.89 is a 4-mana 2-3 Elf Druid with whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. I love this card so much it hurts. I run it in multiple decks, and every time I see it I smile. No stipulations, no additional mana required, you simply cast a creature spell and draw a card. This card is great for keeping your hand full and is perfect for your creature-based decks like Animar, where you can really abuse this trigger. Since this trigger is on cast, even if that spell is to be countered, you still get to draw a card, making it very powerful and something your opponents will have to keep an eye on every single turn. This card continues to see a lot of play, and I hope Wizards will keep reprinting it so it stays budget. Lastly is number one on my list, my favorite green card draw spell, Harmonize. Coming in at 40 cents, this four mana sorcery lets you draw three cards, plain and simple. No power requirement no additional mana, no additional creatures to cast, just four mana for three cards. I slot this card into every deck with green I own, and at 40 cents, you should too. It's cheap enough to help you get established in the early game, but also not too costly where you can cast it and have a follow-up play later in the game, making it extremely versatile, and it always seems to give me that little surge I need every game. This card is perfect for every deck, and I suggest you pick up a few you won't be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep in mind that this is my personal top 10 list, but I strongly believe that if you pick up every one of these cards, you will find a home for them in your deck building career. The cost to pick up all these cards is only $8.61. So if you're a newer player that is on a budget and loves to build decks, you may want to pick up a couple copies of each of these. Otherwise, they'll make a great addition to your collection either way. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more budget lists and deck techs. My goal for this channel is to help newer players discover the commander format without breaking the bank and enjoy the best game on the planet. My name is Jason. Thanks for watching the Commander MTG YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.